Kamal, I'm Benji Kaiser here today talking about the graphic design concept of tracking. So when using typography within graphic design, people often talk about increasing or decreasing the tracking to get a different effect uh, of your typography and create a certain feeling. We're going to talk through that when looking at this sign over here about the graphic design concept of tracking when using typography. So all that coming at you right now. Now when we talk about tracking, it's one of the technical terms within graphic design in the typography realm. There's the three main ones. There's tracking, letting, and kerning. Tracking is the spacing between each individual letter, but in a group of letters. So when you increase the tracking, all of the letters equally disperse on that line or however much text you have highlighted. So for instance, on the globe sign here, it would be each space in between each letter. But as you increase the tracking, you're gonna increase the space between all of the letters. Rather than in kerning, it's gonna be in between each individual letter. So you would do in between G and L, L and O, O and B, and as you increase the tracking, all of those spaces would increase. We're gonna swing on over right now to InDesign, and I'm gonna show you how to actually do this within InDesign. So come on over to my screen. Hey, what's going on? Welcome over to my screen, and we're gonna talk about how to edit the tracking within InDesign. Now I'm gonna change up a few of these words real quick, and then we'll jump right in. So the cool thing about editing the tracking is you can take a substantially wide body of text, you can narrow it up, make it bigger, you can make it pack a bit more of a punch, you can make it shout a little bit louder, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So now that I got the word edited, we're gonna come up here and grab the selection tool, and then we're gonna click our type tool, and that will get us into the type settings right up here and below the kerning you can come over here and increase the tracking or even decrease the tracking depending on the look you're wanting to get so if you want to fill out this space with more tracking you can push it out like that or another cool way to get this a little bigger a little bit more punchy is bring it down a little bit grab your selection tool again click this bottom anchor point here control shift and make this a whole lot bigger. So that's kind of the cool thing is you can do a couple different options. You can either stretch out the text or you can make it tighter and bigger. That's one of the things I like a lot about the ability to edit the tracking within InDesign. And see, look here, we'll grab this and we'll fix this kerning. I really don't like how that one's not spaced evenly. So there you go, there's a little kerning lesson right there. I edited that kerning. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. If this has helped you at all, please hit the like button, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe and hit that bell notifier so you don't miss out on any of the future episodes here on the channel. And I'll see you here next time.